I am visiting Lens Library today to film two more episodes of my Why It's Expensive series and I thought today might as well bring you guys on a tour of the place. So just a heads up, if you have plans to drive here, parking around this area is a mega bitch. But good news is this place is located right opposite a mall. I'm going to show you the mall. This is the mall. So you can park at the mall instead. If not, there is a train station right there in the distance so you can take the train. So what you want to look for is CO3 social office. That's where Lens Library is. Let's get in there. It just got really dark. Here we are, Lens Library. Take your shoes off because cleanliness and stuff. This is Lens Library. Hello. This is Jay. He basically runs Lens Library. Mm. But we'll worry about Jay's later. We're here for the gear. <laughs> <laughs> so the way this place works, you come in here just like you would with a library, but instead of books, we have a lot of lenses, not just lenses, cameras as well. So of course, let's see what they have. This is a Canon C200 with a CNE24. Beside that is the FS5 Mark II with the CP2 35mm, a bunch of L-series lenses, Atomus monitors, drones. These are the big Sigma art lenses, the Zeiss zone. This lens is very interesting. Let me know in the comments whether or not you know what this thing is. Hint, hint, it's also the same lens over there on that wall. Medium format stuff, mirrorless stuff, Sony stuff. That's the Fuji GFX, medium format mirrorless camera. And if we look over here, it's not just expensive gear they've got. This is the Canon 5D Classic. Down there is the original EOS M that nobody really liked. There's a D90 here for some reason as well. This is an anamorphic projector lens. And over here, Zeiss Loxia lenses. So this place, they do have a membership program, but the space is open to public. Anyone can walk in here and play with the gear. Is that right? Because I don't own the place. Yeah, this guy hey, you disturb me, I'm watching you. He's <laughs> watching me. <laughs> but anyway, he said it. Anybody is welcome to just walk in, and play with the gear, even though you are not a member. So about their membership program, the preferred way to join is they encourage you to trade in your gear worth up to a thousand US dollars in exchange for a free membership. And if you don't want to give up any gear, you can also pay them in cash. Now you might say, ooh, that's quite a bit expensive. And I completely agree with you. It is quite a bit of an entry cost, considering you could have spent that money on gear that you actually get to own. But I believe people will perceive the value of this in different ways. What even do you get for joining a membership? So members don't actually just get to experience the gear here in the library. They're allowed to bring the gear home, sort of like a very, very cheap rental. So if I randomly just pick something off, Canon 135 F2L. How much a day for this? $5. $5 US a day for this. I don't think you can get that anywhere else. In Malaysian Ringgit, that's about 20 Ringgit. Very affordable to bring an L lens home. Of course, some items might cost a bit more, like this. I personally joined by trading in some of my gear. If you walk over to here right now, you might see a very familiar lens. Maybe not. This is the oldest video you can find on my channel. You don't even see my face in it. 24-105 F4L, the original one, the one that came with the 5D Mark III all the way back in 2012. I traded in this lens along somewhere over there is my ATD you see in this review. So those two combined was enough to fulfill the 1000 USD entry cost and I get a free membership. Well, not really free, I paid them in gear. But again, it is not by any means cheap. But the way I see value in this is because I make content about cameras and obviously I cannot own nearly as many cameras as they have over here. So for me, it's actually a very, very sensible investment. Different people might perceive the value in different ways, but there's absolutely no pressure in joining the membership. You only join the membership if you think the membership works out for you. Otherwise, it's actually perfectly fine to just look at this place as like an experience center to just try out gear, maybe even try out a piece of gear that you plan on buying, but 
you're not quite sure about it yet, so you want to test it out. It's not like the branded showrooms whereby they hook up the cameras with a chain and there's no batteries or cards in the cameras and you don't really get to try it out. None of that here. But I don't imagine any of this was easy to set up. There's at least a couple hundred thousands dollars worth of gear in here right now. So Jay's, He's a why are you doing this? A million ring what? it dollars. Uh, ring, it. ring it. Ring it. Okay. So That's like quarter million dollars. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why I'm starting doing all this? Mm -hmm. It's all because of that. This is an actual lens, by the way. It's not like a lens mug or anything. This is an actual working lens. Yes, yes, yes. This is my beloved 200 1.8. And he's mounting Legendary. it on the wall. Yes. Let's mount it back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this, is a, this is the lens that started off. Uh, basically, why I studied all this idea is like photographer usually we have our own gangs, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and as uh, we get to share the gears among yep, us, yep. I just enlarge this to a bigger scale, to a mm. library, right? Library, library scale. Yeah, so Let's that see. everyone get to share among their gear. That's really cool. So if you've been watching my why it's expensive videos, you would know I am collaborating with Lens Library to bring that series to you guys. So that's part of how I found value in this system here because there is a lot of unaffordable gear here for me that otherwise without them I wouldn't be able to get a hold of and make that content for you guys. But I guess that's enough talking for today. I really encourage you guys to just come up here and visit this place. It is a really cool place and I've said this before but I don't think you can find a place like this anywhere else. I'll leave details below on how to get here and they most definitely welcome absolutely everyone, not just members. But if you do come up here and if you do plan on joining their membership program, Jay's is hooking you guys up with a very nice deal. Apparently he said that all you have to do is say Z sent you and he's gonna give you guys free rental credit. How many credits did they get? $200 worth of store credit for you to rent all this gear. Just mention Z. He said it. Walk in I here, say you want to join a membership, mention my name, and you get free $200 worth of credits. So $200 worth of free rentals. Anything in here. That's like enough to bring this home 40 times. So that's it for today, everybody. I come here and hang out here all the time because it's just... Really nice to be surrounded by lenses. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm pretty sure you guys will find this place pretty interesting as well. Leave any questions or comments you may have down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video.